Hi there, my name is Atunev, I'm the only me there is, and welcome to a game called Don't Escape 4 Days in a Wasteland, or Don't Escape 4. Part of the Don't Escape series, which originally started as Flash games, if you can even call them that, I'm not even sure, but the Don't Escape series has been going on for a, a pretty long time now, from the younger days of gaming on the internet, if you will, you could even say. And the objective of the games was always to, as the title says, not escape. Now in the first one, uh, I remember playing the first one and the second one. I don't remember playing the third one ever, but I can remember the first one very clearly. And it was a very simple concept. You had a limited amount of time to barricade yourself inside a house because you had been bitten by a werewolf or something like that. And you didn't want to escape. You wanted to make sure the people in the town were safe to avoid your transformation. So the basic concept of it was sort of like a puzzle, puzzle solving kind of game where you had to, yes, barricade the place you were in the house and find a way to tie yourself down, etc, etc. And all of that consumed time and you had to prioritize things, made it, make it so that by the end all the points were given for every action. So, for example, t if you tied yourself down well, all of that works. It restrained you for a little bit, and you had to... And the concept was like wearing down the bar of, uh, I guess, resistance until it's like, oh, okay, you reached zero and you didn't break out, good. You didn't escape. Sort of like that. I have no idea if I'm explaining myself well not or not, well enough or not. Brain tongue, help me out, please. <laughs> but uh, I saw this one and it's cropped up a little lately, so I thought, you know what, let's play it while we search for the next big series to replace Rain World, which I already miss a lot. So before I keep talking, let's just go for the new game. And you'll see what I mean by the whole concept as we get into this one, which should be the exact same thing. Basically, puzzle solving, click and point adventure, and, uh, hi. Okay. Got it. Very typical. Options menu, okay. I already knew that. You walk insanely slow, my friend. Also, this is completely new. In past games, it was just like, uh, one of those escape games, you were just in a room, but the reverse concept. And here, you can actually walk around, so... Surprised. A door! There's nothing here. It's awfully dark. Hmm. Sturdy looking door. It's locked. Alright. A window! Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh! Okay, that scared me. Didn't expect that. What a nightmare. It all felt so real. Yeah. Is this the Earth? I can't tell. I don't think I've ever been to such a large desert. And if that's the moon, then that, uh, mm, uh, I think we, uh, moon.exe stopped working. Yeah, the moon. It shattered. Just like all the dreams humankind ever had. Oh boy. Oh great. Remains of a campfire. The campfire that kept me warm through the night. There's nothing left of it now. Wait, if I inspect it, what happens? A sad pile of ash. Oh, sorry. It gets really cold in the desert at night. Okay. The moon, broken into pieces. Got it. My backpack. I'll just pick that up. Okay. Use the backpack to notice your... Uh, th th at least let me read! Alright, I have weight, capacity. That's gonna come in handy, I think. Uh, honestly, th a lot of these elements are new to the series, so that's cool. Good night, I'm here to drop it. Oh, alright. And my tent. I think this tent saved me well long enough. It's too dangerous to keep using it. I'll just leave it here. Torn and damaged by wind, it won't be of much use to me. You betcha. Uh, hello? 
Dark cloud. I don't like the look of this cloud. It seems to be moving this way. I think my nightmare might have been more than just a dream. I still have a couple of hours, but I have to find a shelter fast. Okay. Right. November 21st, 1996. Well, at least we know it's not the future. It's been a while since I've written anything here. The world is dead, they say, so why even bother? I think the moon, what's left of it, is getting bigger every day. I had a weird dream last night. It felt so real. I was attacked by a swarm of giant bugs, or locusts. I don't know. All I know is that it was painful as hell when they stripped the meat off my bones. This morning I saw something that looked like a dark cloud on the horizon. I know it's not really a cloud. The swarm is coming. I have to find a place to hide. Oh, you betcha. Let's go into the wasteland then. Can you can you walk faster, dude? Ah, there we go. Double click to run. A wall. I don't have time to walk around this wall. There's got to be a faster way to get to the other side. While your time is limited, keep in mind only advances with certain actions. See, this is what I was talking about. When you up, okay. When I find what now? Seven o'clock a.m. Thirteen hours left. Okay. Click to finish current day. No. No, no. I, I don't want that. Oh, well, there's a hole here if you want to. If only the hole was a bit larger, I could squeeze through to the other side of that wall. Okay. What do we got then? A wooden fence and a shed. Do we have anything in the shed? A sledgehead hammer. Okay, nice. This will come in handy. And a wooden fence. Can I take the stick? Maybe make a hammer? Combine items? So my actions will require this time to be blah blah blah. Completed, yeah. This wooden pole in the ground seems to be stuck. Pulling it out will take three minutes. Well, I can spare three minutes. Sure. I'll just go into the inventory. Probably drag it. Yeah, there we go. Eh, what? Sorry. See, I know. I, I've played this game before. Alright, use the sledgehammer. No! Oh. If only I had a sledgehammer. Y you do, you just started running. Alright. Bonk. Bonk. And punk. Good thing this didn't take time. A big hole. Alright, let's go. Uh, don't slow down now. Uh, hello? It's some sort of quicksand. I'm too heavy. I should get rid of that sledgehammer. But, but it'll come in handy. It's a sledgehammer. End of the world. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to question it. Uh, drag it, please. Thank you. All right. I'll just leave you there. Press shift to highlight dropped items. But why, though? I guess to let me know I dropped them. All right. Moving on. Into the wasteland. Travel. A vast desert lies ahead. It's a long walk, but you have no other way but to traverse it. This action will take 50 minutes. Well, compared to 12 hours, I guess it's not much, but ouch. Sure. There's no other choice anyway. Ah, wow. Armor Games became a studio now? Was it always? I can't be sh sure. I think it was... Uh, in the beginning, it was a website. That's a studio. Nice. A game by Matus Script Welder. Uh, oh, uh, alright. So Script Welder's the guy who's been making these games all these years. Good to see you're still active, dude. Don't escape. Four days in a wasteland. <laughs> cool. I like it. I like it already. Nice vibe to it. Seems like there's actually more gameplay and more story to it in a way than the original games, which were just a don't escape the room kind of scenario. Well, this place looks promising. You betcha. A path uphill, a path west, a path east. Well, I don't know what's down the other paths, but a sign. A gas station sign. Oh. 1.5 miles, okay. I don't know what's down the other paths, but I have a house here. So let's check it out. Hello? 
Is anybody home? A door and a window. Now see, this seems awfully familiar. It's locked. How about the window? I have to break that glass if I want to get inside. Alright, what's this way then? Backyard path. Is the kitchen door open? It's locked. Alright. A greenhouse and... Wait, is that it? No, there's something there. A water sprayer. Hmm, okay. And a greenhouse. I can recycle some of the nails that hold this greenhouse together, but I need a tool for that. Alright. What do we got this way? Water irrigation system. These pipes seem to cover a lot of areas. Surrounding the house with the irrigation system. Alright. What about the tractor? Anything here? Months spent out in the open took its toll on this tractor. It's completely ruined. There isn't even enough anything to salvage. Sorry. Oh, that's, that's sad. Okay, what about the barn? Anything here? A short pipe. Alright, cool. Uh, haystack. Okay. Oh, alright. Oh, 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 okay. Guess the, the pipe is just being covered up. Got it. There are some seriously big holes in this pipe. Okay, but what is this? A pesticide inlet. A water pump and irrigation control system. Ooh. I should find a way to get into that house before I start fiddling with things in here. Oh, that's true. An emergency power generator and a car. Well, this could also come in handy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But how are we going to get in the house if it's all locked? Can I break the window with the pipe, maybe? Uh... Let's see, actually. Oh, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go inside. Yeah, this place looks abandoned and very familiar now that you mention it. Staying here might be a good idea, but I only have a few hours to convert this ruin into a fortress before my nightmare catches up with me. You betcha. I should exp I really bit that. I should look around and explore. That road sign might be a good start. Thanks for the tip, buddy. So yeah, this place looks really familiar. I wonder why it is. Maybe the nightmare was a nightmare after all. What do we got in here? A kindling basket. The kindling box is empty. Alright, a fireplace. It's also empty. Only some ashes from previous uses still scattered around uh, all around it. I also think the chimney is clogged. I don't feel any air draft. That's actually good news, at least for now. You betcha. I mean, we don't want insects coming in here. A photo. This photo of an old lady was taken years ago. The colors have faded a bit, but her warm smile is still clearly visible. Hmm. Alright. And a painting. It's a painting of an old-fashioned wooden hut somewhere in the wilderness. Hey, this is actually the house from the first game, so... Kudos uh, for the nice Easter egg. Yeah, kudos? That's, that's what I'm looking for, right? Hmm, maybe. What's this? A storage chest. Remember, your inventory is limited. You can put items here for later use. Ah, good to know. You can also just drop items on the ground. They will not disappear. Oh, that is good to know. A hammer with a broken handle. Hmm. Okay. Should I take it? I don't know if I should. I can't fix it anyway. I think I need something to fix it. Oh, not that, sorry. Uh, let's see. My journal. Um, what else? Oh, I found an abandoned house that looks like a good place to stay. I should go out, explore down the road, and look for something to fortify this place with. Yeah, I, I, I already knew that, but okay, thank you. A passage. Alright. Shiny thing! Keys! Probably for the house. Good to know. Let's check it. It's locked. But, not for long. Alrighty. That's nice. The fridge. The fridge is empty. It's just such a long time without electricity. I'm relieved to know that. Why? It could have a food. A food. Buy milk! I, I, 
I will. We'll do that. I think they never bought that milk. Man, they could have. Some phone numbers are listed on this piece of paper. Good to know. An electrical socket. The socket won't solve any of my problems without anything to plug in. True. True. That's always the way it is with these things, isn't it? An oven. Anything in here? I've opened the oven. I've also switched it on, but nothing happened. There's no power. Well, there was an electrical generator, so I could use this later. Don't know for what. Maybe food, but... Alright. What else do we got in here? Stairs. A hatch to the ceiling. Alright. Anything in here? Okay. It's locked and I can't find any means of opening it. That's, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. We have a window. Nice view of the wasteland with the moon hanging above like on Executioner's Axe. And Executioner's Axe, sorry. We have a broken computer. The screen is all cracked and the case seems partially burnt. This PC won't work. Well, I mean... Are you are you gonna turn it on? You, you, you could try. There was a paper clip holding several sheets of paper together. The documents themselves don't hold any useful information, just some invoices for forming equipment. Can I, can, where do I check them out? In the, in the journal? No? Hmm. Ah. A stack of documents. Some financial documents, invoices, and bills, mostly for farming equipment. Okay, sure. Don't know why I need that, but... Uh, what's in the bathroom? As if it weren't obvious. Toilet. A bathtub! Time for a bath. There's no time to take a bath, unfortunately. Dude, you have like 12 hours. I think you could spare some. You stink a little. You have another window. And a mirror. Hmm. I can see each and every day I spent on the wasteland reflected in this face. Jeez, man. Take it down a notch. Calm down. You'll be fine. You're with me now. That being said, let me just take the keys, open the door over here. You, I... Use the freaking keys! Alright, thank you. We'll lock that later. For now, we have a broken window. Uh... Wait, wait. We gotta be back here. Um, yeah, now that we can. Let's see. Irrigation control system. It seems to be dead. I think it's powered by that big generator next to it. Alright. What about the generator? We have one for the house, one for the water pump, and... On. Starting cord. It's out of fuel. Ah. Well, luckily I know where there's a gas station. Uh, hello? What happened to the music? Don't get creepy on me. And we have a car. Oh, but it's missing a wheel. Hmm. This car seems to be in bad shape. Without taking a moment to inspect it, you can't be sure what needs to be done apart from finding a spare wheel, of course. Checking will take some time. Do you want to do this? This action takes... 15 minutes. It's 7.53. There are 12 hours and 7 minutes left. Do you want to proceed? Well, yeah. It's only 15 minutes. Well, the car could be started, I guess, but it doesn't look very good. Obviously, a wheel is missing. The, in the ignition coil is busted. It has no fuel. Hmm. And we have a cargo box. Oh, cool! I guess I'll be able to use this later to carry things. That's good to know. Hmm. Okay, for now, let's go downhill back and now towards the west because we know there's a gas station that way apparently a destroyed bridge time to travel 15 minutes man nah, we still have 11 hours we've got time stack of planks i can't take those planks with me but they could probably be useful right here by the bridge if i had the proper tools i don't have tools man but okay a small spade Ooh, i could use that what well, uh Oh, okay, never mind. I can't use it. And in the car wreck, 
This car's been wrecked beyond repair. Maybe I should take the wheel off if I had a wrench. Oh, sorry, could. Um, sure. Okay, that's a lot of things to remember. Hold on. We need a wrench for the wheel, the wheel for the car. We need to find fuel. That's probably the gas station. And... What was it? Uh, uh, an ignition coil? Yeah. And whatever I need here. Let's cross the ravine. Ravine takes uh, two minutes. <laughs> Go for it. You can do it. All right, a road west. On to the gas station then. I think it's a 10 minutes travel. I don't like that, but fine. Let's see, what do we have here? A gas station shop. A gas station shop, again. And a parking lot. Hmm. All right. Newspapers and magazine stands. Newspaper from long ago sits on the magazine stand. Monday, March 12, 1996. Lunar explosion. Well, that, that, that explains a lot. The world is still in shock after yesterday's explosion that has left our moon with huge cracks visible to the naked eye from Earth. Scientists say that while it may look dangerous, there is no need for concern. The cracks are surface level only, and the explosion will have no serious consequences. Yeah, I don't... I, I don't think that's correct. The moon looks pretty cracked from up here. Like, I, I'd even say it's split. And I wouldn't put it past that to have been the reason for those uh, locusts. But, you know, that's just me. The cause of the event is still unknown. Many point to one of the world's largest tech corporations, Sidereal Plexus, that was rumored to launch a mining operation on the moon earlier this year. A spokesman from the company has deemed those claims, has denied those claims. Sorry, I don't know how to read. Yes, we were preparing to dig for Helium-3 this autumn, but I assure you, we haven't even started. Now see, why does that sound fishy? You know, it's not like as if corporations have lied to us before, <coughs> umbrella. <coughs> <laughs> now of course, the whole operation is going to be halted until further notice, he adds. Other experts believe the explosion was caused by an undetected meteor that crashed into the moon. Whatever the case might be, the governments of the world are uh, urging people to remain calm. Uh, well, does dead count as calm? Because they seem pretty dead now. A gas canister, a bag of charcoal. Alright, let's take that. Sure. Be careful what you pick up. I won't need every single item I find. How do I know that? I mean, the charcoal could be good for, for a, the fireplace or, or a barbecue. Uh, guy gets hungry, you know. It's empty. Well, the container might be useful. We're at a gas station, you think? All right, what else we got? It's a trinket stand. Okay, there is a lighter here that could be useful. See? Lighting shit on fire. That That's always nice. Nothing useful left here. The crowbar stuck in the cash register. Well, why didn't you say that sooner? Brute force to free the crowbar. Hmm. Bare hands, okay. Five minutes? Yeah, sure, I got five minutes to spare. All right. A hunting rifle. Ooh, that could be very useful. Let's see. Um, ba -ba 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 I have a hunting rifle and some bullets. Not a perfect weapon against those bastards, but it will probably help. What else can I do to prepare? That is a good question, my friend. We gotta keep searching for things. And uh, hello. We got cash. Well, you never know. Maybe it's going to be worth something again someday. Hey, if Fallout's taught me anything, you take all you can pick up. Cash even. Hey, cash sells for something. I mean, it's no bottle caps, but pff, it's something. A roll of plastic wrap. Okay. Everything's useful, I guess. Take that one up too. Oh. This item weighs 4 kilos, but I can only carry 2.1. It's too heavy, I have to put something down first. Ooh, that's not good. What do we got? What can I put down? Four kilos, ah. Oh. Might as well come back for it. I mean, you never know. Mm, let me see what else is around first, and that, ah, sorry. Let me see what else is around, ooh, soda! And then, you know, check anything else out. I know there's things there, there's still things in the shop. Uh, a small rock. 
Well, I... Oh, okay, I could use a small rock. Small rocks are helpful. Then we got some fuel valves. There's a fuel valve, but how do I open it? Right. Let me just put that there. Yeah, okay. Do I have any tool for this? I have a crowbar. Is the crowbar on this thing? That wouldn't work. D don't shout at me, dude. Sorry. Mm. And while we're technically out of things to try on this, unless... No, nah, the wooden handle wouldn't work. I guess we should go back. And, yep, this way. The house on a hill, time to travel 38 minutes. Ugh. It's pretty far. Yeah, sure, let's go. Uh, let's just drop some things. What? Oh, the door was open. I don't know why I did that. Let's just drop them, some things in here and go back out and explore. Dang, the bang of charcoal was really heavy. And the money over here. Okay, so. Gotta stop doing that. Let's go back out. I decided to keep the crowbar and the pipe with me because you never know when they'll be useful. In the meantime, let's go east. Let's see what's this way now. 15 minutes. Oh, we're running out of Oh, God. Those are corpses. They're partially eaten. The swarm got them. Fantastic. It looks like these men put up a fight and killed a bunch of the insects. But they didn't stand a chance in the open. It's a good thing I have a trusty little ruin then, don't I? A half-eaten corpse. Don't, don't. Something shines between the pieces of torn bag that he was carrying. Alright. There's a strange remote controller in the corpse's bag. Okay. A dead insect. I don't know why we'd want this, but... Great. You're hideous looking. Uh, what else? Half-eaten corpse. A car. Anything in here? I have to take a closer look to check out this vehicle. It'll take 15 minutes. Well, we still have a lot of hours left, so sure. The car is busted, so it's not going anywhere. One part that seems to be fine is the ignition coil, but getting it won't be easy. Can you get it? I can remove the ignition coil from this car, but I need an adjustable wrench to do that. You mean like... this wrench? I'm so lucky it's, a, it's an adjustable wrench, though. Let's hope it will be more useful to me than it was to him. Yeah... It, it, yeah. Small leaflet tucked, I was about to say the wrong word, between the folds of the ripped clothes. Attention team, as of this week, we've been hired by the locals to help deal with a new kind of locust terrorizing the area. Perhaps we will finally use our sonic repellent device. It fends off different kinds of insects, but you just have to install it in the ground. But before you can start counting on it, you have to know exactly what type of insects we're dealing with and set the right frequency with the remote controller. I know this job sounds exhausting and a bit dangerous, but at the point we need the food and the fuel the locals are paying with. Alright. Well, uh, sorry. I have a wrench. Let's try it out. Let's see. 45 minutes! Oh god, that, that takes long. I removed the ignition coil from the car. Well, that's good. Anything over towards the car, Rex? Pest control. Hmm. The back door is locked. I have a crowbar. Does that do something for me? What? What? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm, alright. Anything in here? Hmm, pretty empty. We got a locker. What's inside door number one? Ooh, pesticide. That's gonna come in handy. It's locked. Lucky for me, I have a crowbar. Got some ooh duct tape. The the thing everybody needs in the case of an apocalypse or an emergency. The case, yes. Okay, nothing in door number three. And what's this? A sticky note. All right, these must be the types of insects. Hideous buster b bastards buggers. And a weird device. This must be the sonic repellent thing. 
Okay, let's exit. And uh, okay, let's go. Let's just leave. I should go back home, maybe leave some things. You never know. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I found... No. I didn't find something. Hold on. What am I trying to think or say? In my storage. I found something before, didn't I? I found... Yeah, a stick. A wooden handle. Could I combine it with the hammer? Oh, I can. And, uh, and that just means I have a hammer now. Oh, awesome. Cool. I thought maybe I'd use... I need the duct tape for it. Hmm. Alright. We have a water sprayer. We have a small rock. A can of pesticide. I'm gonna leave these two here for now. Ignition coil. I'm gonna put it in the car. Maybe... Maybe not. Not yet. 2.5. Drop this item to set it up. Alright. And... Okay. Yeah. Let me just... Let me see. Where would be a good place for this thing? Probably on the roof. Or second floor, right? Near the window. So that way... It's sort of like a router. If you're near the window, you can even get the signal outside. At least that's my logic for it. Sonic repellent. Besides, they'll probably come in through the roof first. Or the... Uh... Hello? Drop this... Oh, wait. There we go. A sonic rep... No. Do I have to use the remote, maybe? Alright, but before I do that, I need to check out the... Ugh. Dead insect. Okay. You have... Mandibles. With sharp teeth. Six legs. These types of curves. And really long back legs. I think that's enough. Let me just check out the document. Um, mandibles. Teeth. Okay, this one. 200 kilohertz. Got it. Let me use the remote. Here we go. Alright. Okay. Perfect. I'll leave this here for now, then. Do I have anything else in my inventory? Okay, I can now put this away, then. I don't need it. I can put you away. Ugh. And you. I'm probably going to need the duct tape, so taking it with me. I don't know why I'd need the clip. I'll take it just in case. And let's go back to the gas station. We left some things behind. Stop by the bridge. I have tools. Wait, what? Oh. I have a tool, maybe? Crowbar? No? That wouldn't work. How about this? Hmm. What did I need for the, the wheel? Oh, a wrench. Which I happen to have. <laughs> At least you finally say it. Okay. Uh, could you please just do it? If I double click on something, I need you to run towards it and do the thing. 15 minutes. Alright, cool. Apart from almost falling off the cliff once, all went well. I got the wheel. Alright. How much does that weigh? We still have enough... Ugh. Two and a half kilos. Okay. Hmm. Do I need something like an axe? Wait. Oh, I have a hammer back there, never mind. I can't take those planks with me, but they could probably be useful right here by the bridge if I had the proper tools. What tools would you possibly need? A wrench? Not really. A paper clip. Bad idea. How about the duct tape? I can't see how that would work. I mean, you could tie a few together and get across. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Yes. Alright. Gas station. 
back in here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I left the gas canister out here. Fuel valves, I should be able to undo them with the wrench, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, now I have gas. And I gotta take it back home, but while we're here, I'm gonna pick up plastic wrap. I have space for anything else. I have five kilos. Any Anything else? Ooh, it weighs nine? Ah. Okay. That's, that's fair, that's fair. I'll take it back then. Let's go. Mm-hmm. House on a hill, 37 minutes. Yep. Well, then again, maybe the hammer would be help for the for the helpful for the actual planks along the road. If I could hammer them together or something, I don't know. For now, I'm gonna leave the plastic here. Um, yeah, I got the fuel. I got the ignition coil. I got the wheel. I can make the car. What am I doing? And I also have pesticides. And I don't know if I could use the water sprayer somehow. Hmm, I'm taking the hammer too, just in case. Let's go back out then, see what we can do out, out here. Greenhouse. Can I do anything with the greenhouse? I could recycle some of the nails. Ooh, right, 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 right. I have a hammer though. Let's do it. Let's try that again. Let's do it. 20 minutes. Ugh. All right, let's do that twice. And that way we'll be at seven hours and nine minutes left for the end of the world. Okay, I'll just take the nails. I'll just take those nails. Up. I'll take the broken planks I cannot. Hmm. It's amazing how little weight I can actually carry. Tractor. Yeah, I can't do anything with it. Spikes seem to cover... Irrigation system, but I have a water sprayer. Can I not just put it on the irrigation system? Can't do that. Uh, what about the pipe? Holes. I have duct tape. Can I cover up the pipe with the duct tape? Yeah! Five minutes. Nice. Okay, okay. We're running out of time, but we still have plenty of it. I'd say it's this game is on easy mode or something, because... Come on. In the meantime, let's see. Wheel, ignition, coil, fuel. I have all three. Let's put the wheel first. 15 minutes, okay. Ignition coil next. 15 minutes, okay. And fuel. Yes. I right, fuel the car. Alright, cool. Uh, oh, now I have space. I still need fuel for the generator though, so I'm gonna keep this here on me. You'd think the water spray is for something. A pesticide inlet. I can probably get rid of this in here. Cool. Alright. Let's start the car up. Ooh, I can actually get to the gas station in less time. Let's do it. This place can't be reached by car. There's a broken bridge by the way, or in the way, sorry. Do you want it to travel to the bridge instead? Yeah, sure, why not? I probably shouldn't have used the fuel, but it gets me here faster, so... Let me just see something. I have a pile of planks and I have a hammer. Can I use the hammer on the pile of planks? I can, okay. Do you want to use the hammer and nails to build a makeshift bridge? 
This will require one handful of nails, but it will allow you to travel through the ravine without any delays. However, you will still have to stop your vehicle here if you have one. That's fair. 90 minutes. Oh, no. That'll leave me with one hour, as sorry, with four hours of sub... Oh, math! With five hours left. Okay. Yeah, sure. Five hours is still enough, right? Should be. Ah, this is much better. Let me just stop here then. Ten minutes away. And put you down here. Get some more fuel while we're here. Alright. I'm gonna need it for the generator and I'm not sure what else, but let's do it. Thank you. Maybe again for the car, who knows. Metal bars. It weighs 9, but it can only carry 8.7. Wow, what the... Oh, you you weigh a lot. Never mind. 2 kilos. Oh, the rifle. I should have left the rifle behind. Okay, I've got an idea. I'm gonna go back to the car and store a few things in here. Another 10 minutes gone. I know. Store my fuel in there. The rifle as well. I have no use for you right now. Or you. A short pipe. What is the point of the pipe? Well, it's a pipe. Could I maybe use it with the water sprinkler? Hmm. Okay. Water sprayer. And... That's it. Right. How much... Yeah, I have more than enough here to carry back the metal uh, things, right? The metal grating, the metal, 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 metal walls, the metal bars. There's more than one. There's... Ouch, there's three. Okay. I'm glad I did this then. Uh, well, there's nothing else here. So let's just head back. All right, let's get back in the car. And back home. At this point, I've used up some of the fuel. It's fine. At, at some point, I could go back and... Um, I should go back, sorry. And get the fuel and replenish the fuel in the car. You know, we don't want to... I don't want to be at 90%. A part of me gets a little weird inside when it's like that. I like to see it full. Okay, metal bars over here. While we go pick up some more... Um, sorry, the fuel for the generator. What am I saying? Uh, I don't think that's... That, I think that's all I need. Alright. Let's see, we got some broken planks, and that's pretty much it. I don't have a uh, use for them, I think. That's fine. Go to the cargo box, dude. Okay, take that, take the rifle with me. Take my handy dandy tools. Okay. I still think the water spray is gonna is needed for something. I just don't know what. A water pump, and irrigation control system. Okay, emergency generator. I actually can't do anything yet. Where do I put the fuel in? Wait, just put it in. I fueled the generator. Now I just have to start it. Got it. Let's put you back in there then. Okay. Well, I could power the house. There was nothing in the house that I need. But the water pump has the pesticide in it, right? So I could just put it set to water pump. Hmm. Let's try it. Up. Oh. It choked, but didn't start. Let's try that again. One more time. Nope. Come on, Betsy! There we go, it's running. Cool. Alright, how about you? 
Ooh. Activate sprinklers. Okay. Ground watering. Why would I do that? I have the water spray with me. I could, Wait, could I go to the farm? I didn't even check. Efficiency, okay. Sprinkler buttons. I can't... Huh? I can't do anything with them, so let me just check something out. Uh, cover a lot of the area. Wait, I have... It's a pipe. Does this pipe work on you? I can't do that. Maybe a water spray on this. I can't do that either. Is it because I didn't put the thing to... Overnight or something? This should cause the night sky to be soaked with dense mist. I'm gonna want that. Activate the sprinklers. Oh. Okay. Oh, I love these kind of puzzles. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm not the best at them, but I do like them. Okay, so if I do this... Then I do this, and I do this, and I do this, and I do this. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Got it. Let me just leave. Okay, it's max efficiency, and my car is here. Um. Okay, let me just go get the fuel. And be back. 25 minutes, man, you take too long. Okay. Parking lot. Let me just fuel up. Oh, I didn't even see this. Huh. Um. I scheduled the water sprinklers to put out a wall of mist with some extra pesticide solution. Is there anything else I can do? Well, I think so, but I'm not sure. We should cover the window. You know, the window you broke. Alright, let me just... No. I'm gonna assume this thing has infinite fuel, because it's pretty big, and I'm, I've just taken, what, three of these tanks out? Can't be that bad. Alright, let's go back. Another 25 minutes, and that leaves us with... Three hours and around 20 or so minutes to deal with everything else. Let's see now. Okay, so, I have this, I have this, I have this. And I also have plastic, but I don't think it's going to be helpful, and I don't even have the space for it anyway, so. Let's see now. If I try to cover the wall, what happens? Metal bars on a window. It's just hanging there. I still should do something to attach it to the wall around the window. Okay. We have duct tape. Does that work? You want to use the duct tape to affix the metal bars to the window frame. This action will take 20 minutes. Hmm, hold on. Not yet, not yet. Let me think this through. We only have one chance to not die, I think. So... Duct tape is strong, but it might come in handy later. We don't want to uh, use it up in case it's got limited uses. We have nails. I could try nailing it, the frame to the, the... the metal bars to the window. Except... Hold on. Uh... Metal bars, it's got some holes in them. It feels like those slimy little bastards could get through anyway. On the other hand, we have plastic. They seem pretty strong enough, but they could just be bugs too. Like, not mutant bugs, nothing too strong. So I think I'm going to try with plastic. I mean, in real life it works that way, right? You can keep everything out with plastic and 
a bit of help. Hmm. I took out all three because there's three windows, but I don't have enough nails for that, so... Let me just take the hammer on this thing. 20 more minutes, ouch. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you. And one more time, okay. Yep. Thank you. We're running out of time. As you can see, it's getting dark. We don't want to be here forever. Let's just hurry up. Okay. And exit. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so... Let me put the planks... Uh, no, what? Could I? Nah. In any case, I could put the planks in the fireplace. Let me put them away for now. I have all these things and I don't know what to do with them. Okay. Plastic wrap on the window. And I could probably just use it on the plastic rack right away. Yes, 20 more minutes. Ugh, we're running out of time and it's a little scary, but... You want to use the hammer and nails to attach? Yes. Okay, that should keep them out. Hopefully. Um, okay, use this on that. This on that, yes. And use this on that. At least I think this is right. I'm just trying to logic it out. Okay. With this, we're down to the last hour and 40 minutes. Uh, I installed plastic wrap in all of the windows. Will this be enough? No, we still need to lock the doors. But... Let me think, am I missing anything? I don't think so. Hmm. Take the crowbar, that's a good weapon. I don't think a rifle would be good against a whole bunch of bugs. You can't exactly shoot. You have six bullets, you can't exactly shoot them all. You never know if it comes in handy again. Um... Yeah, this should be it, I think. So, let me just proceed to lock the doors, but first I will save the game. I saw this here before. Okay. All right, doors are locked. Windows are covered. Sprinkler is set to overnight. Am I missing anything? I have a weapon in hand. I don't think so, okay. Let's do it. So, you think you're ready? Pick one item from your inventory that you would like to equip during the night. This one. Alright, there's 200 insects. The evening sky darkened as a black cloud of the swarm arrived. See, this is the bar I was talking about. Based on everything I did, it should start reducing. You found the hiding place in Ben farmhouse. An automated sprinkler system kicked in as the swarm was getting near. Despite being old and faulty, the sprinklers worked perfectly, fully covering the air above the field of the dense mist. As a result, 32 insects were stopped by the sprinklers. Okay. That's 32 down. It's, the water was saturated with strong pesticide. For the incoming swarm, it was a deadly wall of poisonous mist. 48 more. Nice. That's 80 down. You deployed the sonic repellent device to fend off some of the insects. It was placed inside the hideout. The walls probably weakened the- oops. What? It was near a window. Oh, jeez, okay. The device seemed to be set to the wrong frequency. Only five insects were scared off. The front door was closed, keeping away all of the 23 locusts that would have entered through it. Okay. The back door was closed, keeping away all of the 23 locusts that would have entered through it. The window on the ground floor was covered with plastic wrap. The foil was nailed to the frame. 23 
Insects that try to enter the house through the window. 16 were stopped. Uh-oh. The window on the upper floor was covered with plastic wrap. The foil was nailed to the frame. Out of 23, 17 were stopped. Okay. Uh-oh. 17 were stopped. 19 entered the house. Crap. The crowbar was your last line of defense. You managed to knock down 19 insects with it. Yes. All right. I did it. Ooh. Cool. That's all of them. You fended off all the insects before they had a chance to hurt you. For a moment there, I got scared. I thought the thing inside the house would not save me. But okay, I did it. You survived to see another day. Hi? Oh! Okay... Huh, another dream. Uh-oh. What now? Hi? Uh, hi? Hi? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what you get for dreaming while uh, a helicopter crashes. The heat, it, it starts affecting your dreams. What was that? The attic? I don't know, we should check it out, but... Next time, because for now, I'm all out of time. Yeah, I really like this game. It's really nice. It's basically the same old don't escape that it's always been, just a little better. I'm definitely gonna do it all, complete it. We've got four days, so I guess that's one episode, sorry, one day, one episode per day in-game or something? I don't know. Let me just read the journal, and I'll sign off. November 22nd, 1996. I survived the night, only to have another weird dream. It was a wave of heat, a surge of hot air that burned through my skin. I swear I was able, I was able to feel my sweat boiling. If this is another prophecy, I have to find a way to cool down my hideout. If that wasn't enough, I think something just crashed into the roof. I have to find a way to cool down my hideout. Okay, okay, that's good. That's the next objective. Got it. And I can see my my barricades have been destroyed. My destroyed barricades lie in ruins. Crap! But okay. No more insects. We got it. We survived the first night. So, all that being said and done, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, thumb wrestle with that like button down below. Comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button. But as always, I'm the only me, so you be the only you. See you next time.